Hi everyone, Dave here. So I've got a fun activity for you today. What you're going to have a go at is creating your own animated GIFs using a sprite sheet. So how to do that? You're just going to go to any search engine and just search for um, the word sprite. Now a sprite is a, a term given to a, a graphic in uh, game making. So each one of these objects in that explosion is called a sprite. Okay, so if you just search sprite, uh, say explosion, or you might want to come up to do another one and uh, say you might, might want to do an Iron Man one, for example, you can just do Iron Man sprite sheet uh, or keyword searches like that. And obviously then you can look to download those sprite sheets. There's thousands of them uh, across the internet of all your different characters or themes or whatever you're looking for. So. Do a search uh, sprite or sprite sheet and whatever theme you're looking for and get the sprite sheet, save it to your uh, photos folder. Once you've got that, uh, we're going to start in Keynote. So we're going to open Keynote, we're going to create a new slide, go to choose a theme, we'll just go with the blank, see, remove those items there. Going to come up to the ellipsis tool and you're going to come and go to the document setup slide size and we're going to go to custom and we're going to make this 320 by 320. Now I could go smaller and make it 200 by 200 but the reason why I'm doing it 320 by 320 is if I just hit done and then done here when I go to export and I go animated GIFs, it's just really important to note that um, you've got uh, exports of small, medium, large and extra large. So when I click on each of those, just have a look at the slide size down the bottom here and how it changes. So for a small, the smallest I can go is 320 by 320. So you might as well make your slide that to begin with. Uh, or if I want to go to medium, it will go to a 480 by 480 or if I want to go to large, 720 by 720 and 1080 by 1080, which is video formats. Uh, so depending on how you want that to look, that could come into play depending on what type of graphic or animation you're trying to uh, create. Okay, but for this one, I'm just going to make it a small. Let's hit cancel. Okay, so now that I've got um, that slide here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make that uh, slide background. I'll just make it a, a contrasting color so you can see. So let's just go with a green for that. And then I'm going to add plus and I'm going to go to photo and video and just find um, that explosion sprite sheet. Now I've added the sprite sheet and it had the transparent backgrounds already. So um, that's what I would suggest you look for. It looks for the sprite sheets that have already had the backgrounds removed. Or you could try things like Instant Alpha if it's um, not already done. But um, yeah, it generally looks better if they're already removed. So what you're then going to do is just resize your uh, image. And I'm going to try and make those as big as I can. Um, just keep resizing that until I sort of work out roughly how big can I make this animation without it looking a bit distorted. So I can sort of see that's one of the bigger animations in this scene and it's taking up almost all of the slide. I can probably go a little bit bigger and yeah look I don't think I'd want it much bigger than that. Alright so once I've got that I'm just going to go back to the first slide and just position that somewhere in the centre. And I'm just going to go back to the slide here and I want to copy that, uh, so actually more will duplicate. So I just tap over here on the slide and duplicate, duplicate, or you could just do command C and then command V and you can paste either of those like that a lot quicker. Alright, so let's have a look here now. So I'm going to go to my first slide. I'm going to uh, zoom out like this a little bit more. So what I do now is double tap on the slide and then you've got uh, the crop feature en enabled. So I can just drag these sort of handles in and what it will start to do is to crop out all the other images in this animation. So I'm just going to hit done there and I'll just realign that so I can see the ends. Double click to crop again 
and just drag that handle in all the way over to there. Hit done. And now what I've got is this animation. I might double tap again and just make that a bit more tighter. And then hit done. Okay. Once I've done that, what I'm looking for is see that crosshair. You can see that I'm in the in the middle uh, horizontally. Now I'm in the middle vertically because I can see the uh, crosshair or the, where the lines intersect. So I know that's in uh, close to the middle of that uh, slide. So I can release that. You then go to slide number two, and you're then going to do the same thing. It's a bit of a slow process, but it's worth doing. So you just basically slide over that one, slide that one over, and then slide that up to crop out the bottom one, and then let crop that out as well. Then hit done. You then realign that so that you can see the middle page like that, and then release. You guessed it, you got to go now back and do all the other ones. So let's have a go here. I'll do one more. Double tap. Crop that in. Drag the bottom line up. Drag that one over. And like so. Hit done. Then reposition it so that the two lines meet. So I know that's in the middle. Okay, so the reason why I copied them all is so that they're all of a similar size. So if you didn't do, um, didn't copy them all onto the same page, you, you run the risk of resizing each of these objects, and the animation would look a little bit awkward when you go to export. So um, that's a, that's a really good tip to to know when doing these sort of things. So I'm just going to go ahead now and finish off all the other slides, and I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, so now that I've done all those uh, slides, what I tend to do at the end of these animations as well is just to have a blank one, so it sort of resets the animation in a loop. Uh, so yeah, that's another good little tip to have. So now that I've got that as uh, all these different animation scenes, what we can look to do now is export that. Okay, so. So there's two ways you can think about this. So if I want to use this as an asset in filmmaking, I would export it with the green screen and export it as a movie. If I was wanting to use it in sort of game creation or uh, something else, I might export it as a GIF. Right. Okay, so an important thing to remember when exporting your animations like this is that you want a really quick uh, change between each of these slides. Now, when you go to export a movie, if you go to export movie and go to here, the smallest amount of time between each slide is one second. So that's a really long time. And for this animation, it would be a 10 second animation, which would make it way too slow. So to combat that, what you need to do is tap on the uh, slide over here on the left hand side and then choose a transition. You're then going to use an uh, add the transition and then choose an automatic transition. Once you've done that, you select back on the file again, on the slide, and then go to the, uh, the transition uh, action here, and tap on that, and you can see by default it's half a second, which is better than the, the one second that it was, which is better than the one second that you, you can when you export. And you can see here it's half a second, which is you know half as quick as uh, when you go to export, but uh, we want it quicker again. So just by sl sliding this little slider over, you can reduce that. Now, 0.10 is not a bad time, which means that um, you know, there's 10 slides. So this would be, if each of these slides were 0.10, this would be a one second animation when we finish. So let's keep that at at um, 0.10 seconds and then click on this one add transition choose automatic click back on the transition 
and then change that again. So basically you need to do this now for each slide and change all of those to 10 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch it. Okay, now once you've done your last slide, you can see that one's Okay, once you've done your last slide, you then just press done up here in the top right hand corner. And you can just preview that by uh, watching it. So we're going to make that whole screen. And you should see that animation uh, run its course in one second. Now that you've added that transition to all those slides, you can then come up to the ellipsis tool, choose export. You're going to choose a movie. Uh, you're going to leave all those, uh, leave the next slide at zero seconds. You don't have any other builds. Uh, you can choose 12 frames per second and the 1080p resolution. We're just going to make sure the slide range includes all of those slides. You then press export and save the video. And now that you've done that, you will have a one second video that you can use with green screen. So that worked perfect in say iMovie or if you've got the green screen app or any of those sort of filmmaking apps, um, these sort of video assets are perfect for that application. Okay, so now let's look at how you can turn that same Keynote file into an animated GIF. Go back into um, Keynote and go to Presentations. I'm gonna tap and hold on that project and I'm gonna hit Duplicate. You then open the duplicated project I'm just going to go over here to the side and I'm going to select the first slide and then hold the shift button in on my keyboard and select all those. Then I'm going to go to background, uh, preset, and just go to the very end one here where it says no fill. That will then change the background of all the slides in that range black. And when you go to export it as an animated GIF, it will have a transparent background. Okay, so now that, now that you've changed that background to no fill, you can then go up to the ellipsis tool and go to export as an animated GIF. You want to change the slide range and make it slide 1 through to 10. I'm going to choose the small option when it comes to the size, which will give me that 320 by 320 option. Uh, you can change the auto advance, but um, that basically just gives you like less than one second um, timing in between each of those uh, transitions. Uh, I want to keep the transparent backgrounds on so that it exports without any background. I then press export. You'll get a bit of a preview as to what the GIF will look like. You can then hit share and then save the image. It will then save that image to your camera roll as a animated gif how cool is that so you can then use that gif in you know tons of different ways uh, game making uh, websites uh, other presentations uh, put them in an ebook uh, all that type of stuff so um, the animations are really cool uh, and those gifs look great okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'm really looking forward to seeing all the cool animations and gifs that you create